Uh, my name is Addison Rodriguez. Um, my alias is Archimedes, A-R-K-I-M-E-D-E-S-E, -E -E, um, and I'm a local artist here in San Marcos. I think, I think San Marcos is a... Right now I feel like it's pretty underground. Um, like if you look in Austin and at UT, um, the art scene's pretty, or, or it, the creative scene in general is pretty booming. Um, like every weekend you can find an event to go to, or if you talk to somebody, you know, they, they know other people that are creatives. Um, and here in San Marcos, I feel like it's a bit more under the radar, but especially within the last year, um, networking and talking to other creatives I can I can see that it's on the rise for sure I hope and this is this is just from my perspective because I really enjoy street art as well like graffitiing and um, things like that but I hope it it kind of goes in that direction because something about street art feels um, closer to home than like actually making a painting or something you know like sometimes artists especially now with social media um, like you make a piece and then you're like oh I want to post this and you post it and then it takes away from the like actual enjoyment of creating it just to create art in itself because now you're looking for likes, you're looking for retweets, you know, engagement. Um, but street art on the other hand, you know, you, you like graffiti tags and, and murals, you throw it up real quick and then, you know, you may never see it again or maybe it gets destroyed. Um, and I think that's what art's supposed to be anyways. Um, because you're doing it just for the enjoyment of creating something. My name is Sage Zuna, but I go by Sheen as I think more. Um, I do um, self-portraiture, portraiture, mostly most of it is abstract, more like impressionist type portraiture. There's there's, all, there's art everywhere. Here. Like everywhere you look, you'll see either a tag or a mural or someone on the side trying to sell the pieces. So there's there's a lot going on here. Find your footing in art and, and find your system. Take your time. Don't, don't rush the process. Um, I feel like once you rush the process of art, you, you burn yourself out of it. And it's not going to take a couple months or like a year. It's going to take several years of consistency and hard work. Constantly create whatever, whatever you can even if it's just like 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, whatever, just, or, or just like sketches and, you know, if you're going to class and you're losing interest in whatever the professor's talking about, um, just doodle. It, it, it doesn't have to be anything big. It doesn't have to be, you know, like a masterpiece. That doesn't matter. Just create as much as you can, whenever you can. Um, and I mean, you'll, you'll, like a, a lot of the times pieces will be bad or not even pieces, but whatever you're making will be bad. Um, and then sometimes it's good and, and sometimes it's great. Um, and I think that's what you're looking for.